Terre des Hommes has been working in the area of justice for children since the end of the 1990s. Unfortunately, the Foundation finds that children's voices are not being given enough consideration. If people actually listened to them, this is what they would probably tell us. Hello, my name is Amida and I am 15 years old. I live in a remote village in a farming family. My parents wanted to marry me off to an important man in the village when I was 13 because it was the only future they could see for me. But I didn't want to be part of that family, so one day I ran away. The police arrested me, and the judge sentenced me to two years in prison for running away and adultery. I would prefer to stay in prison rather than return home to my village because my family is now ashamed of me. Thanks to Terre des Hommes, the authorities realized that I had not done anything wrong. Terre des Hommes organized training sessions for people working in the justice system, such as judges and social workers, to help them to better recognize specific violations of children's rights and to protect us better. I was placed in a protection center with other girls like me where I can continue my education. The social workers have also met with my family to help me to be able to return home one day. Hello, my name is Rudy and I'm 16 years old. I come from a family of laborers in a country that has been involved in a war for a long time. One day I stole a mobile phone from the grocers so that I could buy something to eat. Normally, young people like me who are caught by the police are beaten until they confess. They may stay in a detention center for an entire year while awaiting their trial and can be sentenced to two years in prison, even for a minor theft. The time spent in detention seems very long because there's nothing to do there. When they are released, they find themselves with no education and stigmatized by their family and friends. The people from Terre des Hommes told us that violence against children should never be acceptable, not even against children who break the law, because everyone has rights. They instructed the police officers on how to take charge of children my age. Thanks to Terre des Hommes, I was sentenced quickly and my rights were respected. I had a lawyer assist me from the time I was first arrested. Rather than being sent to prison, a mediation meeting was arranged for me with the grocer. I apologized and returned the telephone. I did a few hours of work to recompense the theft. Terre des Hommes also organized activities in my village related to restorative justice, to prevent children like me from being stigmatized and to enable members of the community to participate in my reintegration. Finally, a social worker helped me to return to school and enable me to start vocational training. My new life can now begin.